Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zach and we're doing another Ecomi OMI V video. As usual, coming at the price 0.003245 on a low of 2665 and a 3548 high. Now, <clears throat> this isn't surprising considering where we were only 24 hours ago versus where we are now with the new announcement of the exchange which we've covered already. But, <coughs> pardon me, in this video, I want to have a look at something that was meant to come out yesterday and didn't. Uh, I want to say before we get into it, if you watched yesterday's video where it was about Ariana Grande, I want to actually say right now an apology because I have been posting a lot of videos which you can see over the past day or two. Uh, and last night I was just posting and posting and posting and posting and I was very tired. And I accidentally made a video, or I accidentally posted... Uh, so I named the video Ariana Grande Ecomi BB, right? I didn't realize that I exported the wrong video with that, with that name, which meant that essentially I was talking about the Louis Vuitton um, app when it was meant to be an Ariana Grande video. So I do apologize. Some people were calling it clickbait. I understand why you would have thought that. I would ask, please have a conversation with me before you start saying bad things, right? Because um, it's never intentional to clickbait anything like that it was a genuine mistake and I do apologize that was my bad but in this video I actually want to go over the Ariana Grande stuff that I went over yesterday <clears throat> what's even kind of worse for me is that I have not got a lot of storage on my hard drive which meant that I ended up deleting the raw footage where I recorded talking about the Ariana Grande potential NFT that we could see coming to Vivi which means I'm recording this again I basically recorded this entire thing it was a 20 minute video and I was very upset when I found out um, but anyway, we're going to get into it now and we are going to talk about Ariana Grande this time. I do apologize. Let's get into it. So what I've noticed uh, a lot lately with uh, certain influencers, certain artists is that they, some artists are really, really ahead of the curve and some artists get a lot of fame. They do really well. They earn some really good stuff going on. They become iconic, but then they stop doing things and lo and behold, they become irrelevant to the next generation, right? and certain artists try to stop that from happening and do quite well with stopping that from happening. Now, Ariana Grande is still young, so she's not really in that same uh, wave of sort of, you know, being iconic back 10 years ago and whatever. Uh, she's still very, very iconic now, very popular. And Ariana Grande actually put out an announcement yesterday. This, of course, is her, is her Twitter profile. 83.7 million followers, verified, etc. If we have a look right here, the latest retweet was... Fortnite. Excuses Ariana is coming. Fortnite presents the Rift Tour featuring Ariana Grande. Kicks off August 6th at 6 p.m. ET. Let's have a quick look at this inter not uh not interview. Uh, let's have a look at this intro. So we can see right here that we have Fortnite characters, sort of um it's an animation where essentially we're gonna have an Ariana Grande concert. Now as someone who has reported on Fortnite for a living at one point and has just been reporting on gaming for a long time this is not a huge surprise to me and that's because we've actually already seen this sort of thing happen before we've actually got a case study that we can see right now and i'm going to explain to you later in the video why i can see this being an nft at some point potentially even being a vv nft but we can see right here this is fortnite right we have all the characters and they're sort of dancing about there's a stage here and this was an event that took place about a year ago during the pandemic, essentially, when it was first, uh, probably like, I don't know, a few months into it, I guess. And um, this broke records. Many, many millions of people uh, partook in this, right? There was many millions of people who watched this, listened to it, and Travis Scott made a lot of money from it. So let me explain what happened. This was an event where essentially you could buy uh, a Travis Scott skin and you can now play as Travis Scott. I know because I actually bought it. Um, and essentially, Travis Scott had a live performance within Fortnite where they put up a bunch of animations and made it look really cool. So at the very start, you don't see Travis Scott. You just see, you know, this concert thing, uh, a stage, I guess. And you see a digital Astro World, which was um, Travis Scott's IP. A bit further into the concert, though, I would say about a minute into it we see this asteroid hit the ground. And with the asteroid, you see Travis Scott spawning um, as a life-size figure. And funnily enough, now we have Valorant on our uh, 
on our thing. I actually code Valorant, so that's interesting. Anyway, going forward, we see here Travis Scott, right? And he's essentially doing his dance. He is singing. I'm not going to have the music on because it's copyrighted, but you can see everyone loving it, right? Everyone's dancing about, everyone's enjoying, having a good time. And we had, I think, over like 10 million people here. Uh, it was huge. Now, Travis Scott um, sold skins, sold this emote right here where you can see this flaming microphone, right? Um, and basically, Travis Scott will have made... I actually think that the financials came out for this. Let's have a quick look. Uh, how much did Travis Scott make from Fortnite? Here we go. So we made roughly $20 million from Fortnite. That includes the skins, that includes uh, the royalties, I guess, that Epic would have paid, etc. So... Fortnite reportedly earned significantly more than his average in-person show. Now, keep in mind that he didn't actually have to perform to uh, a crowd. He simply had to basically give his likeness rights, probably have some level of creative direction with it, and make a quick 20 million. Freaking huge, right? Because the majority of everything was done by Epic as far as the technology, as far as making the concerts concerned, you know, building all the technology, and he made 20 mil from that. Now, the thing with uh, BV, right, is that when we have Travis Scott, or in this case Ariana Grande, uh, NFTs, not only will it make a certain amount of money from the average consumer, but then there's the resale market, which of course will just go on further. This isn't the example though. We've also seen it on us X, right? He's been in, uh, in Roblox. And essentially some artists, not every artist, but some artists are really ahead of the game and are trying to do their best to be uh, an important part of these digital corners of the internet, right? Where you have Fortnite, you have Roblox, and you have tens and hundreds of millions of people playing these different games and essentially building their own metaverse. Now, the difference with this, with, with these metaverses is that they're not powered by cryptocurrencies. They're powered by general money. Although, interestingly enough, with Fortnite, you don't buy skins with dollars, with pounds, with euros, or any other currency like that. You buy it with V-Bucks. A lot of you will probably hear of that, heard of that before, but yes, yeah, so you buy Fortnite in-game items with V-Bucks. Now, in our world, that would be, of course, Omi, or Gems, I guess, but Omi is the long-term plan here. Now, the first thing I thought of with this was, of course, these two other things, Travis Scott and Lona Sex, right? But the reality is, is that Ariana, if she's doing this, she is very, very bullish on technology, right? That's the only reason why she would ever want to do something like this is that, you know, why would she, why would Ariana Grande, with everything that she's done, everything, all the money she's made, why would she want to go on Fortnite? It's not because she plays Fortnite, friend. It's because there's freaking money in it, right? So then I had a look because I know that Ariana Grande is managed by Scooter Braun, who also manages Justin Bieber and other artists, right? And so I typed into Google Scooter Braun NFTs because the reality is that if Scooter Braun is looking into NFTs, uh, part of his job will also be essentially to work uh, with and help build NFTs for his artists that he's signed with, like Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, etc. Right? Car Carly, Carly Rae Jepsen, etc. So let's go through this article right here because he has in fact invested in virtual concert stuff. Pardon me. Scootborn joins $13 million investment in avatar-based virtual concert startup wave. Music industry mega manager Scooter Braun has joined a substantial investment round in a startup specializing in virtual concerts. LA based Wave allows fans to watch their favorite artists performing as digital avatars. Joining Braun is uh, in a 30 million thingy is uh, Yankees baseball star Alex Rodriguez, in addition to Superfly co founder Rick Farman and Twitch co founder Kevin Lynn. Twitch, of course, being uh, the basically the biggest gaming site uh, for broadcasts, at least on the internet. Wave says it will use some of this money to expand into Japan and China, in addition to elevating Wave's creation of personal artists and avatars etc <clears throat> now we're not going to go through all this right now except for this part i want to work with today's uh most forward thinking leaders in music and technology the future of the industry depends on it now keep in mind again that this is scooter braun who manages ariana justin bieber etc now where does this take us well i actually wanted to look at this itself and we're gonna have a look at it right now it's called wave xr right this is the thing that he's invested in now when i first saw this i thought hell this is going to be a vv competitor right they're essentially getting the likeness of the weekend um and other artists right so we have here wave x beatport we have here uh, dylan francis who's also done stuff in fortnite we have here john legend all of these you know alice in wonderland billboard uh, names right lindsey sterling we have ready player one as well uh, which of course is very much often used as a um as a way to show um to show what's happening with viewers 
Now, is this a competitor to BV? Short answer is, if we look at the about, not really much that we can learn from it, but I've learned and I've tried to figure out how can, uh, as you can see here, it says, our shows enable artists and audiences to collaborate in the creation of the most interactive live performance experiences in the world. Waves are live, interactive, and immersive shows that are unlike any virtual concert that you've never experienced. We combine the mess of live music, gaming, broad, etc. So basically, they were essentially taking a lot of inspiration from Fortnite, as far as I'm concerned, which is cool. Now, as far as actually getting involved, how do you buy or how do you get involved? Well, you can uh, go through here and then you can sign up for Wave, whatever. What I've noticed though, and this is the reason why it's not really competing with VV from a general point of view, is that they don't do NFTs. This is not a crypto-based project, which means that there's no NFTs to buy here. You can like buy into uh, experiences, but you're not buying it with Ethereum, OMI, anything like that. You're not buying any NFTs. It's not a crypto project. So from that end of things, it's not really competing with VV because it just doesn't do what it says on the tin like VV does right there. Um, on the other end, though, of course, it will be competing with VV for attention. At the end of the day, people will be going to this place to uh, to experience these concerts. Now, VV isn't trying to necessarily take on the concert market straight away. Clearly, they, they have other plans, but this is something that VV can definitely get in on. Now, the other thing, though, is that we're looking at something that Justin Bieber has taken on because Justin Bieber is managed by Scooter Braun. Scooter Braun manages Ariana. So Dapper Labs reveals plans for next NFT marketplace after NBA Top Shot. Now, of course, this right here tells us that this could be a, a competitor, right? And we see all these um, what's called genies, right? These are avatars um, that we can see artists are using. Today, Dapper Labs, the Vancouver-based startup, best known for uh, for NBA Top Shot, Crypto Critics, I think, also probably quit. Uh, probably popular marketplaces for tokenized digital collectibles, known as NFTs, announced a partnership with the celebrity-driven avatar technology company's genius to build a new marketplace on Dapper Labs' slow blockchain. Dapper Labs is currently valued at over $7.5 billion. Essentially, they want to become the Amazon of digital wearable NFTs, which celebrities and ultimately all platform users can create and sell digital wearable NFT collections for their avatars or digital um, alter egos. Genies will also periodically have challenges for users to unlock special wearables. Dapper Labs Genies hopes to launch the beta version, etc. Right? Um, so they have already got Rihanna, Shawn Mendes, and Cardi B, etc. Is this a problem for VV? No. Um, it's just another project, right, that's in the space that I think Ariana and others will definitely get in on. Um, at the end of the day, though, VV, of course, needs to build a superior brand, right, or a superior experience, more to the point. Uh, and I do think that VV can do that, but of course, and this, I think, is going to be different, right? This is not necessarily, they're not bringing the DeLorean in this anytime soon, or at least that's not my understanding of it, right? Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. But regarding Ariana Grande, like I say, if she's already involved in Fortnite and if Scooter Braun's behind her as far as being the manager and all this sort of stuff, it tells me that a VV NFT collectible is definitely within reach. Now, will Ariana choose VV? That's a different topic. It could be Decentraland. It could be this, that, and the other. And the reason why I am bringing this up is because I think that these sorts of conversations can be helpful. Because whilst it doesn't necessarily confirm that Ariana is coming to VV, which is why the title is the way it is, I think the title that I had before, because I actually copied and pasted it for this video, will Ariana Grande license Ecomi VV for NFTs like Epic did with Fortnite? Let me be very clear, because I know some people are going to click say this clickbait, she's not coming. I don't know, but neither do you. All right? I don't know, but neither do you. This is a conversation. I want to try to get to the point where we understand the difference between theory crafting and news. This isn't news. I mean, it's news as far as talking about something that could happen, um, but it's not news as far as conf confirming anything. And that's why you don't have confirmed in the title or anything like that. It's a genuine question that I'm asking you based on discussion that we have here. And I would love to hear your take on it. That being said, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Seeing Ariana and other uh, other streamers, uh, or not streamers, sorry, artists like Dylan Francis, for example, as well getting in on things probably dead mouse i'd imagine at some point etc because they've been on fortnite as well all these artists are looking at new ways to immortalize themselves into virtual experiences and make a heck of a lot of money from it you know if they can make millions from their own likeness essentially what's not to live about it you know what i'm saying and so i do think that we're going to see nfts whether or not it'll be VV, I'm not sure. It all depends on how VV and Ecomi license these things out. But realistically, things are looking good. I'm excited. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. If this video was interesting or helpful, like someone would appreciate it. Make sure as well to follow me on Twitter. I'm at Zaki Sue. I've noticed a few people follow me since my last video, so I really appreciate that. Definitely talking about a lot of stuff. Even spoke about it right here. Been using this game to explain the viewers to Omi holders. 150 million units. The economy that runs through this game doesn't take advantage of Omi. I'm envisioning a platform that does take advantage, right? The reality is, is that GTA 5 has sold over 150 million units 
there's a lot of players there, right? Now, all we need is people, you know, all those players to spend a little bit of money or whatever. And if we sp if they do that in the Vverse, that's a lot of only burned. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Hopefully this video was interesting and helped you. Appreciate you all for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.